Recently, Miss Kate of Rayax Technology reached out with me to introduce their new IoT platform, which is the RYC 1001, and kind enough to give me a full access to explore this new cloud platform. Rayax Technology is a company based in Taiwan. They have a variety of products ranging from Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LoRa, and etc. They even offering IoT solutions according to your project requirements. But for today, we will focus on this IoT cloud platform which is the RYC 1001. First, I will use it to demonstrate its basic MQTT protocol, then further explore its additional database capability over MQTT protocol later on. So, what is RYC 1001? RYC 1001 is built on Amazon Web Services or AWS Cloud Computing Platform, which is one of the leaders in cloud technology as of this day. It supports MQTT protocol, which is one of the popular IoT solutions as of now. It uses a well-taught, simple instructions to easily integrate database capability through its MQTT platform via a specific topic which we will explore later on. As for the start, let's try a simple and basic MQTT setup of home automation. Let's have a light, which is an output device, and a temperature sensor, an input device. To help us demonstrate this, I will use an Android application named IoT MQTT Panel to easily simulate our home automation and I will use the RYC1001 IoT cloud platform as MQTT server. I already prepared here a basic MQTT setup which is this one. So I already tested it. The light switch will publish to topic home, living room, lights. Edit this panel. While the light bulb, which is the LR lights, will subscribe to home, living room, lights. And respond according to its data payload. In this case, if the message is on, it will turn on the lights. Else, if the message is off, we will turn off the lights. Another is the temperature sensor. Sorry. Temperature sensor, which is simulated using the slider switch or a slider panel, which will publish to topic home, living room, temperature. In the gauge, will subscribe to the topic home, living room, temperature and display according to its value. On my desktop, I will open an MQTT client, which is an MQTT.fx. Then I will connect to my server. I will disconnect first. So basically, I am connecting to to iot.reax.com with 1883 as port and I have this client ID and of course you need to use your username and the password anyways let's connect then I will subscribe to the topics home living room lights home living room where's that temperature also to the api or the command 
the lights and for the temperature okay now let's simulate it from here in IOT MQTT panel I will turn on the lights and as you can see the lights which is simulated using the LR underscore lights turns on and sends a data here also in uh, mqtt.fx I can turn it off okay and as you can see it sends this uh, data payload we can also turn on the switch here by going to home living room lights on which basically will send a data payload on to this topic. I will publish this one. Uh, currently it's on. We'll turn it off. So uh, we will send it off data payload. Okay. And as you can see, here in IoT MQTT, platform, MQTT panel, the lights turns off. We can turn it on again. Okay. From here, using the slider switch, we can change the temperature. And also notice the message here in mqtt.fx. Let's set it to, let's say, 36 degrees. And as you can see, here it is also displayed. Using the MQTT FX, we can publish also a temperature. Let's set it to 50 degrees Celsius and publish. Huh? Sorry, here, living room, because this one is for the next demonstration. So here in living room temperature, I will publish 50 okay we can change it to 75 degrees that's how easy and simple to use the mqtt messaging now let's explore what else rayax have provided to us rayax ryc1001 provides some sort of database which can be accessed through mqtt topics so they provided some operation on how we can use this uh, some sort of API where we can access the database capability. They provided the following APIs. Command insert will add a new record in database. Command update message will update or modify the previous record in the database. While Command get will get or read the previous record from the database. And the notification message is similar to the function of command insert where it adds a new record in database. Command is basically used for output devices like lights while notification is used for input devices like temperature sensor. What I am going to do is to demonstrate the exact home automation setup created recently, which basically demonstrates the basic MQTT setup, but this time using the database capability of RYC1001. Here, I already prepared an MQTT dashboard for the database capability of RYC1001. You can follow this guide so that you can uh, make it work in your own setup. It's a little bit different because as you can see for the switch, I am using a different topic for the, for the publish and for the subscribe. We are also using a JSON path for the subscribe don't worry i already prepared this one 
I got this uh, JSON pot using the jsonpotfinder.com. So, also the lights is using the same setup, command results that lights for the temperature. And also we are using a command or an API provided by the Reax technology. So let's simulate this one. And I will open the mqtt.fx. So I will turn on the lights by using this slider. Okay. And we receive also the message or the data payload message in mqtt.fx. And these are the, da the data payload we receive. I will turn it off again. And it should send again before it's on. Now it's off. We can also use the mqttfx to turn it on using command insert on. I will turn it on or turn it off. We can also simulate the use of a slider to simulate the temperature sensor. Okay, it's 40, 40 degrees Celsius, and it's also displayed here in MQTTFX. We can also set the temperature. Let's set it to, let's say it becomes 75 degrees. It's so hot. And as you can see, it's working. Data can be accessed by publishing a command get message which is this one this format but I will not go through that because it will take time you can refer to the application note for that setup subscribe receive command message notification command update command update so you can use this one from 5.1 to query the message saved in the database. So you just need to publish a command query or command get and you need this uh, command ID which you can get from here in the subscribe when a command get is sent a, a, a command is sent let's say it lights it will give a command then this is the id you need with this additional database over an mqtt our data can be stored online and retain the data in the database with traditional MQTT only, data is lost the moment that no client is subscribed or no client is publishing to a certain topic. Where I believe this additional feature is useful if you intend to store the data for future data analysis and references. So that's all for now. I will leave the details in the video description if you decided to use the Rayax 1001 IoT cloud platform. I hope you enjoy and learned something from this. If you have any concern regarding this tutorial, please write your question in the comment box provided. Your suggestion is also highly appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, Please give me double thumbs up by clicking the like button and share this to your friends. 
so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. And if you are new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will be notified when a fresh video like this is uploaded. You might also like to visit my blog post at techtotinker.blogspot.com for more details such as circuit diagram and source code. Thank you and have a good days ahead. God bless. Happy holidays everyone. Bye.